Hello everyone. I'm so glad you could join me again for a look at Ephesians again this week. In chapter 2 of Ephesians, Paul elaborates on the theme of salvation. By God to grace, we were freed from the power of sin and Satan, reconciled to God. And we are saved to do good works. Paul describes salvation as a journey from spiritual death or from separation from God to spiritual life or connection to God. Ephesians chapter 2 emphasizes the theme of salvation by grace to faith in Jesus Christ. First, Paul describes the process of salvation as the results of God's grace through faith. Human efforts and human goodness are completely ineffective in our salvation. By God's grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of good works, so that no one may boast. We are His workmanship, created with a desire to do good works. Ephesians provides a powerful reminder that each person is created with purpose, intentionally. We are called to use our skills and abilities to do good works, the skills He has given us, or in other words, our calling. We are not saved by good works. I'm sure we've all heard those words, but do you know, truly know, what that means? We are not saved by our good works, but by salvation. We are created for good works, or to be put into good works. In other words, we are saved by grace and created into a new life that leads us into good works through Jesus Christ. Good works or actions that align with moral teachings and emphasizes kindness, charity, and compassion. They are different from inner qualities like faith or grace, but did you know that good works also includes attending worship services, praying regularly, studying scripture, joining a small group at church, going on a mission trip, and loving our neighbor? I believe that how we behave is very important, not only when you're in front of people, but at home behind closed doors. You can't just be one way when you're thinking no one is looking and be another way when you're thinking people are looking. I think we all suffer from that. You have to really know who you are in Christ. Are you living in the reality of who you are in Christ, or are you still living in your old ways? Discipleship should be limited to what we do at church. should never be limited to that. We should never be boastful about anything that we do or our works for God. Our boasting must be boasting in Christ. That should be our response and love towards God, and that is the proper way to worship. God is renewing our hearts and minds in Christ that we should walk with Him. It speaks of who we are before accepting Christ, who we are now in Christ, and who we are to become as we continue to grow spiritually with Him. Paul mentions faith in at least eight times in his letters to the Ephesians. He is referring to faith that gives us confidence in knowing God or faith that shields us from Satan. It is simply breathing the breath of God's grace that He supplies to us. This does not mean that we are able to or to begin to treat others like machines or that we're a machine. Rather, it means that God has made our dead hearts alive, reviving us in Christ, and our most natural response to that is faith. With Christ, we have been made to serve and love God for His glory. So I encourage you to read Ephesians chapter 2 and examine your heart today because together we are His house built on a foundation of the apostles and the prophets. And the cornerstone is Christ Jesus Himself. We are carefully joined together in Him, becoming a holy temple for the Lord.